So, hi guys, how's it going? My name's Chris, and this is Skylanders Ring of Heroes. And the latest patch has just dropped the 2.4 patch. And wow, there are so many surprises in this patch that I didn't even expect. And one thing that's going to come from this patch is that there's going to be something that's going to be beneficial to everyone in this content update. One well, of the biggest surprises, which you're going to see as soon as uh, you update the game and log in, is going to be the addition of the new. Skylander Light Hex and also the addition of the Light and Dark Premium Summons. Um, and even more to that, we now have a way of acquiring Light and Dark Super Boost Keys. Um, oh god, look all this stuff. <laughs> look at it. There it is. There's the whole section. I'm going to go through all this stuff. Uh, later on, I'm going to save the best till last and then do a few summons at the end of the video. Um, but first of all, let's go through all the stuff that we were kind of expecting from this patch and see what kind of benefits they're going to bring to us and what we can what we can do with them. Uh, OK, so the first thing we're going to cover is the new Guardian Subjugation. <clears throat> OK, so we've come all the way to the adventure page for this. Now, the Guardian Subjugation is a kind of a, an AFK farming feature that's been added to the game. So this activates from uh, normal and hard difficulties and uh, you basically select an island. You have to get three stars in all of the stages to activate the Guardian Subjugation. But once you do, you can click on this little panel and kind of select how many battles you want to do. All of the uh, rewards are going to be scaled off the final stage of that island that you pick. So to sort out your subjugation teams you go to the guardians page now you've been doing this from the start anyway you've been building up your guardians to accumulate resources from passive income from their patrols uh, but now you can kind of use them uh, for your farming teams um so um if you click on any of these you're going to bring up the guardian uh, the guardian selection page um, and a handy little thing across the top if you click on all these elements this is going to be all the different islands that you've got there and then you can see they're already set out in mine but it's a nice easy way to customize like what teams you want for your dark subjugation then you can go in and kind of set up the battles through the adventure now there are a few things to know on this number one is if you're going to be using this for for kind of Skylander farming, you are going to be better off using uh, stages 9 and 10 because you can add a few different elements on there. Uh, all the other ones are kind of locked to their specific elements. So unless you're doing a pure element team, uh, you're going to want to be doing the final two and you're going to get more experience as well. Uh, so a few things to note. Number one, you cannot fail these. So you know, you, know, you can put all your lowest Skylanders in there. They're just not going to die. Uh, the biggest difference is the time it takes to complete them is going to depend on your battle power. So the smaller the battle power is compared to the recommended, the longer it's going to take. And that works in reverse as well. Higher, higher the battle power, the shorter they're going to take. Um, and in terms of experience, uh, if you look at the final stage and then your, your subjugation page, the experience looks a little bit lower, but that is because it's shared between, now it's shared between six Skylanders. So you can change the amount of experience per stage, depending on how many Skylanders you've got in there. If you've got four, you're gonna get the same amount as what you would in the final stage. But there's loads of stuff to cover in this uh, Guardian Subjugation. So if you guys are interested in seeing like a full length in-depth video for, for this feature, then uh, you know, leave some comments down below. The more interest that's there, the quicker I'm gonna be able to get this uh, content out. Uh, so yeah, that is Guardian Subjugation. And believe me, guys, it's going to be worth it. The more the more you enhance your Skylanders, the more uh, Guardian power that you get, the more passive income you're going to be able to uh, accumulate. So definitely worth it, especially if you're going for those six star ethers. You need as much gold as you can get. So happy farming with that. OK, so next we have the elimination system. So this is going to be in three different areas. We're going to have an elimination. The elimination system is going to be activated in the Awakening Dimension, Investigation, Dark Subjugation, and the Cave of Gold. So here's how they work. So Awakening Dimension, this one's really simple. As long as you've got three stars in all of these stages, you're going to be able to activate elimination. And all you do for this is click on the elimination button, um, make sure it's all the way up to 10 times. That's going to be 100 energy. Click on that button, and that's all your battles automatically, automatically done for you. So I'm going to get so a really nice quality of life uh, addition to the game. Takes all that unnecessary farming on this uh, particular bit. OK, so that's nice. Dark subjugation, slightly a bit different. You've only got three entries in this as normal. Uh, so your elimination takes your first battle in dark subjugation. Um, just you just want to be careful in this, though, because, uh, you know, if you click on your first 
uh, first battle, like most people still auto this stuff. I, I know I do that a lot, uh, but you know, in your first battle, you're not always going to hit your potential for your maximum amount of keys. Uh, so if that's the case, you don't think you've got the most keys that you can get out from it, don't click your elimination. Just go back into it and do it normally because you don't want to waste out on them keys either. If you hit, the, hit it the first time, like for example, on my account, normally I can get the uh, first blue the first rare key. Uh, if I don't get that on the first try, I'm just going to keep going until I can get that. But still, if you get it on your first one, elimination is a good way to save a bit of time during that. Um, and then the last one is going to be the Cave of Gold. Same thing again, it's going to record your first entry into the Cave of Gold. And then once you've done that, any further caves you can access, you can just hit that elim elimination key on that to save more time. Uh, so that is, yeah, again, another nice quality of life feature added to the game. Those are the two big ones. Now let's take a look at some of the, uh, let's take a look at the events that they've added. So the first one you would have been like greeted with as soon as you logged into the game, and that is going to be the login event. This is the uh, Light and Dark Premium Summon Update event, and this is going to be going on for 14 days. <laughs> so for these 14 days, you're going to be able to get 15 free Light and Dark premium summon tickets as well as some other prizes some energy splendors uh all that good stuff there 14 days 15 free light and dark summon tickets uh so next up we're heading into the events page where we've we've lost the wheel the wheel has gone i liked the wheel that was just rewards for doing your dailies uh that's been replaced with the bingo event uh, so the bingo missions are kind of they're the same missions you still need to do the same things to acquire the uh the bingo draws so let's uh let's take a few of these Let's uh, let's draw some uh, <laughs> some numbers. What's the go for? Oh, okay. It takes us to the to the ticket page. Let's draw a number. Boom. Oh, okay. So we can get duplicates in numbers, and we get duplicate points for a guarantee to draw. So we've got three. Uh, so basically, we're just pulling these tickets to try and get a bingo. A bingo is going to be a line. Um, you're going to be able to get ten lines in total. And with each line, each few lines, you're gonna get some prizes. We've got another light and dark summon ticket there for two lines. And we've also got some legendary skill ups as well on the 10th one, if you manage to fill the whole board. So I don't think we're not gonna get anything in our first, in our first ones, because we just don't have enough. Um, but you know, we're close to a line already, just need two and 22, then we've got a line. Um, but yeah, so sure we don't get any prizes while we're doing this. However, we do get an extra 50 gems whenever we do get a line. And these prizes are pretty big, so just worth doing it for those. So yeah, that is the, the bingo event. And that is going to be going on for 13 days. So 14 days in total again, running in line with the login event. Uh, so light and dark summon event as well. This one is more for the whales of the game. They've put this content out there to try and draw in, draw in more air transactions. They want to sell those tickets. They want to make that money. Uh, so there's 14 days for this as well. Um, and this is going to be rewards for the amount of premium light and dark summons that you do. And this could be up to a 360. That is a lot of summons. That is going to cost a lot of, <laughs> a lot of money to get those. Um, but yeah, yeah, loads of light, light and dark premium summons at every stage of this. This is 60 summons, 120 summons. But there are 10 heroic super boost keys as well. Uh, 180, 240, 300, and 360. 360 is a lot in 14 days. I definitely will not be able to do that. Uh, unless anyone wants to donate $99, so I can, uh, <laughs> no. But, <clears throat> yeah, I think, like, most of us are gonna probably see around this, like, 120 summons, maybe? Maybe. I think that's what I'm going to be going for. Somewhere around this 120. And then also there's going to be a new pickup summon, which is going to be for Stormblade, which is on here. So you can now uh, now have the opportunity to, to try for Stormblade. Same again, 120 times. If you don't get Stormblade within 120 summons, you get a free one of those. Um, but you know what, guys? Like, these are irrelevant now. No, uh, I wouldn't even waste anything any resources unless it was specifically a pickup ticket on these events because we're gonna have more stuff to be uh, a lot better things to be trying to spend our gems on for summons um okay so as well as that there's gonna be a few minor changes as well some uh one of these is uh, like a really quality of life um and that's gonna be arena entrance change uh so 
uh, you know, previous this was something that was split up. So you'd have 10 entries per day. You'll get five in the morning and five in the afternoon. But now they've combined them. So you just get 10 entries per day all at once. You can use them all, all at once or use them whenever really in that time frame. That's the 10 at once entrances for the arena. Um, and then we've got some balancing. So try tip what has changed for this guy? This is going to be... Uh, this one, Strong Headbone, grants the attack up 40% effect and the defense up 10% effect on yourself two turns. If you have plus one weakening effect when the turn begins. So this previously was a damage reduction effect and now you get attack up 40% and defense up 10%. So that is the change to this guy. I haven't used him, but there's always been one that I wanted to use. I wanted to use this on, on like a fresh account, choose it as a main tank to go through there. Uh, you know, maybe I will now. Maybe I will. Okay, next up we have Headrush. This is one I've got on my other account with a few super boosts in. So this is going to infect Unbreakable Charge or Unstoppable Charge if you haven't got the upgrade. So before you would charge for the whole time you was provoking. Now that's been reduced for a one term, one time charge and the provoke lasts for the three turns. Uh, after charging for one turn inflicts 104% of defense as damage to one enemy and grants the strength effect and defense of 20% effect on yourself for two turns. Uh, so yeah, that charge time has been dramatically reduced. It was on a three turn charging time. Now it's on a one turn ch uh, charge time. And you're gonna deal that damage after the first charge while provoking for three turns. The damage has been increased uh, up to 104% of defense. Uh, I'm not sure what it was before that see so yeah, i don't know what the difference is going to be but that is uh, going to be nice uh next we have boom bloom where are you a boom a bloom his main changes are going to be with invisible thorn um okay so if you're attacked with a critical hit from the enemy grants the deflect damage 15 percent effect for two turns on yourself with 100 percent chance Additionally, grants the poison effect times two for two turns on the enemy that inflicted damage if you fall into the break or knockdown status and the leader effect so the leader effect grants the poison effect times one for one turn on the enemy that inflicted damage if an ally falls into the break or knockdown status damage i think the leader skill was damage deflect and the poison effect would be dealt if they killed you so that's been changed to be broken or knocked down yes yeah, so that's uh that's being blown and the last one is i don't know like i've got a feeling this is going to be the best one on there but that is going to be Chop, 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 and this is going to be on. Uh, what's that? This is for enhanced okay and shield skill. Recovers your endurance by two and grants the attack up forty percent effect for three turns. Ah, so you, you know what? This I think this is probably the biggest one out of all the changes. This is the one I'm most excited about because whenever I looked at Chop Chop, um, like at the start when he came out, I was like, yeah, you know, he's really good, but he's a tank. And this skill is is just reducing his defense or attack so it's just gonna be it's gonna go down quickly but now they've removed that so it's just buffs on buffs on buffs so attack up 40 percent uh recovers your endurance by two um you know and this guy's got some like pretty high scaling as well inflicts 155 percent of attackers damage to one enemy and inflicts 54 percent of attackers damage to all enemies additionally if you possess the provoke effect you know, attack up 40%, which is pretty big. You know, he's got, like, a, such a good skill set now with that damage reduction. I mean, it probably was before, but that, like, not damage reduction, defense reduction kind of, like, really put me off with this guy. But now, uh, he seems to be so much better. And, yeah, we've got the passive as well. Increase your attack by 20% and defense by 25% per currently defeated ally. And then leader effect increases defense on the team member by 10% per currently defeated ally. Oh man, if you guys don't have this guy yet built for arena, build this guy for arena. Whether it's uh, your arena defense or just your arena attack team, this guy is going to be nice. I need to build him. <laughs> I really do. But yeah, good shout. Good, good champion and a very nice improvement. It's going to boost his ratings up quite a lot. Um, so yeah, so that's all the uh, all the Skylander changes. They only brought four in for this. They're kind of rebalancing. Uh, so it was just uh, buffs to, to Skylanders. Uh, so other additions, the academy level has changed. It's been increased from 50 to 100. I'm not even at 50 yet. I'm only on 36 on this account. 
Um, and also the ether, ether inventory expands with the max level as well. And there's uh, just mentions a few fixes as well. So opponent battle power, um, apparently, I didn't even notice this, but there was a there was a bug where opponent's battle power wasn't displaying properly uh, in the sky tower. Um, but yeah, that's been fixed. And oh god, this one, I don't know how I feel about this one. Again, it's a very minor change, but this is for the uh, the ether bundle recycle. <clears throat> now, like, <coughs> before I kind of had an issue with this because um, I felt like, you know, I've got all these, why can I not just recycle everything that I wanted to select? Um, but then, like, after getting to the point where it's like uh, five stars is the kind of um, where I want to be equipping everyone with like five star gear, like every uh, like every new Skylander I get up, I, you know, four star gear is gone for me now. It has to be five star. That's the baseline, and then when I get resources, get up a few six star levels. Um, you know, so because it kind of like stops me from being able to sell those, I had a load of five stars to choose from, um, and that was kind of like a like a hidden gem with this uh, with this feature. Um, but now they're taking that away, <laughs> so I'm probably going to be like misclicking this and get rid of a load of five stars uh, while I'm doing it. So yeah, just be just be cautious of that. Like, you know, one of the biggest boosts to your Skylanders, if you're not like, <clears throat> like making, like farming tons and tons of gold is going to be five stars. You're going to want five stars to, click, to equip on your Skylanders, so just be aware of that. Um, and just be careful to make sure you're not getting rid of all your five star gear. So that is a big chunk of the features that have been added to the game. Uh, and there's quite a lot there, but we still haven't gotten to the good stuff yet. So let's get into it. So the first thing we want to get to is... Before we get to the new summons, we're going to take a look at the new Skylander. And that is going to be Light Hex. Light Hex, the newest Skylander to be added to the game. Now you can only acquire Light Hex through the new Light and Dark Premium Premium Skylander summons. Um, she is exclusive to that to that uh, summoning portal to those summoning gates from the Light and Dark Premium summons, um, and it does state in the notes as well. That's the only way you can be able to get her until they release a new Light or Dark Legendary, and then that's going to take Light Hex's place, and then you'll be able to get Light Hex from. So uh, let's go through this. Uh, so let's go through her skills and see what kind of uh, she brings to the table. She's a light. She's support. Let's see what she does. So light purify marble uh, inflicts fifty five percent of attack as damage three times to one enemy. Inflicts twenty percent of attack as damage to one random enemy two more times if you possess two plus buff effects. Um, so this is gonna be two mana, two turn cooldown, three hits, potentially five. So yeah, it sounds like 165% of attack, which isn't too bad, plus an additional 40%. So yeah, so that's a 200% attack damage skill, so that's pretty nice. Um, in a blink of an eye, inflicts 60% of attack as damage to one enemy. Additionally, steals, the, steals and copies two random beneficial effects off the target to all allies with a 90% chance if the target possesses beneficial effects. Um, this one's pretty big. This one is really nice. Uh, two mana, two mana, two turn cooldown, one endurance. So that's on a low cooldown and low mana cost. Um, at low damage, but steals and copies. So when they steal, they're going to be removing it from them and copying it onto all your allies. So that's going to be really nice, especially if there's like, uh, you know, insane like attack buffs. Um, that's yeah, really good. Lightstone, after charging for two turns, decreases the cooldown time of all skills of all allies by two turns and decreases the amount of mana required to use skills by one. That is a big skill. We've seen this before with Pit Boss. Whenever he charges, he reduces all ally skills by one, which means you can get a load more attacks off and do loads more damage especially with the attack buff. This one is just gonna reduce all the skills cooldown time to get them off cooldown and reduce all their costs as well. 
So yeah, re really nice. This is gonna be a good for a nice power round where you're just smashing out a load of skills. Uh, two mana and a two turn cooldown as well. Two turn charge time. Okay. <laughs> so not bad at all. Uh, recovery light recovers all allies by 16% of each target's max HP whenever you're designated as the attack target for the third time not counted when the attack is evaded and then we go to light acceleration uh, leader passive lights hex charging skill <clears throat> okay Light Hex's charging skill will be changed temporarily to be instantly activated if you have 3 plus buff effects when the turn begins. Not applied if charging is already in progress. Additionally, increases your effect resistance rate by 25% in battle. Leader effect increases the effect resistance rate of allies by 15% in battle. Wow, that is huge. Alright, that is actually insane. So, as, as long as you can buff light hex up with three buffs constantly she there's no charge time for that this is going to be an instant cast on a two turn cooldown for two mana this is actually insane she is a really nice uh champion with all those skills in there thrown in there um obviously if you're if you're doing like auto battles it's going to be a bit hard to get those buffs off before that charging effect she's probably going to charge as her first skill uh maybe they usually use their bigger skills first uh but yeah if you're doing this manually jesus christ like it's, it takes that cast time away and reduces everyone's uh mana cost and cooldown times uh that is pretty big that is that's pretty huge and every two turns as well uh so she's got um two attack slots three defensive slots and a ring but yeah she is pretty nice i wouldn't mind having her especially with those uh those cooldown skills so <laughs> light and dark premium summons uh, you can summon light or dark from all gates and only rare or higher grade skylanders will appear now that last sentence only rare or higher grade skylanders will appear um sounds nice but in theory they've taken away the premium summons and just kind of added the chance to get more rares um so it's not going to increase your chance of getting legendaries it does increase your chance of getting heroics though there is a uh, a twenty percent chance of getting a, a normal heroic uh, from the from the light and dark premium summons. Uh, so let's go over the chances for these summons from this. So they're taking away the premiums. So the lowest thing you're going to get is a rare Skylander. Now the summon the the percentage of getting a rare Skylander is going to be seventy six percent. And what that's what that means is that they've increased the chance of getting a, a heroic Skylander to twenty percent. Um. And that is pretty big that's that's doubled over the the premium chances the normal premium summons um and then legendary skylanders normal legendary skylanders is still two percent so there's no change in that there's still going to be two percent chance for your normal legendary skylanders the heroic light and dark chance is going to be 1.5 percent chance and the legendary light and dark is going to be 0.5 percent chance to summon that is going to be every time you click that summon button so so this is actually like huge right for the light and dark premiums it's going to be 200 for one summon and a thousand for five summons that's almost double but not quite it is a big increase though uh but there are some other benefits from doing this and the biggest ones are going to be from the uh light and dark super boost keys because you're going to get be able to start getting those uh, so these are in the game for the light and dark premium summons they're gonna work the same uh so the more summons you do for the light and dark premiums uh first 25 you're gonna get a heroic super boost key light and dark and for 50 you're gonna get the legendary light and dark super boost key and uh, now it's gonna take a while to accumulate these um you know straight away that's gonna be like 500 summons in order to get 10 legendary super boost keys um you know that's that's quite a lot yeah, it's still going to take a while, but there are some incentives from doing this as well. Uh, so the biggest one is uh, they've doubled the chance to getting the guaranteed legendary. So uh, as they do with the pickup events, it's 120 times to get a guaranteed legendary. For the light and dark premiums, it's 240 times where you have that guaranteed chance to get another light hex. And light hex seems pretty worth it to me. She has got a really nice skill set to her. Um, so yeah, 
I know where I'm going to be spending all of my gems from now on. And that is going to be uh, on this. On this. And of course, all the summons that you do uh, put into the light and dark premium summons, they're also going to be accumulating on that uh, that event that we've got going alongside this as well. But anyway, let's go Let's go do some summons. Oh, so I'm going to finish this video off some summons. Uh, guys, if you liked uh, any of this content and it was helpful for you, then please click that like and subscribe buttons. If there's any feature in this game that you want me to go into a little uh, go into it a little bit more in depth then you know leave a comment with what you would like to see and i'll get working on that video for you uh straight away uh but yeah for now i'm gonna pop a few some of these some some of these a few summons with these free ones uh just because i need to spend gems to get some more tickets um if you guys are interested i'm gonna be doing a summoning session on sunday the sunday Sunday. Well, I'm going to be doing it most Sundays. If you catch this video a bit later on, there's a chance I might be doing a summoning session on Sunday, and that's going to be from from around 10 o'clock UK time on YouTube and Twitch. Um, but you know, if you miss it, there's going to be a video up anyway. So feel free to check that out, as well as some of the other videos on the channel. Go crazy. Um, anyway, let's do some summons and see if we get lucky with these. So here we go. Probably not. We shouldn't have. We shouldn't expect anything, right? It's still going to be the same. Uh, well, slightly higher drop chances. It's got a heroic, so increased chance on heroics as well. So that's a good thing to point out. Twenty percent chance. Yeah, we're just going to see a lot of rares. Ah, oh, okay. Two hundred thirty-five times left until guaranteed acquisition. So, because I need to spend a thousand gems anyway, so I'm gonna spend a thousand gems. Let's do this. Oh, straight in with a heroic Skylander. Splat. Nice. One more rare. A shard. Uh, an imaginite, but still, it all helps. So we're not gonna have much luck with that. We've got two heroics though, but you know, we had a 20%. So literally, actually, uh, I should probably point this out, right? If we've got a 20% chance from one portal to summon a heroic Skylander, that is going to give us a hundred percent chance of getting at least one <laughs> legend, uh, heroic Skylander from from a full pull. I'm just going to spend uh, just do one more summon because I need to spend one more. Uh, but yeah, these are just uh, just coming out like that. You can't choose or anything. This is just how they roll. Oh man, we didn't get anything in that. Do I have a shabby crazy? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. And there's our heroic Dino Rang. And that is all of our gems spent. Wow. No actual <laughs> Light Attack Skylander in there. So we got our free heroic. Stink Pong. Yeah, there's always a chance of, get, of us getting double rolls as well from these on heroics. Like now. 20% is pretty high. Oh, and we got a dark Skylander. Uh, okay, so we did that one with five tickets. So we got three uh, heroics. 
one dark Skylander as well, which is a new alloy, so something new on that one. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna save the rest. I'm gonna save the rest for for Sunday summons. Otherwise, I'm not gonna have anything left to do. Uh, but anyway, guys, that is it for this video. Once again, if you liked any of this content, it was if it was helpful to you all, please click that like and subscribe buttons. If you want to see anything in more detail, then leave a comment down below. But that's it from me. If you want to see me do some more summons. I'm going to do a whole bunch of summons on Sunday. If you're around on YouTube, that's from around 10 p.m. UK time. Uh, anyway, guys, hope you all have a, a brilliant week of summoning and I hope you all have uh, the best of luck in trying to get your light and dark legendary Skylanders. Take care, guys. I'm out. Bye.